Today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely ornamental uh, boat for a sort of beach room scene or, or shop and I've used a wood called a besh. I'll pop the name of that below, a um, bit of a weird spelling and I've used two thicknesses 1.5 or 1 16th of an inch and 2.5 three thirty seconds of an inch and the 2.5 um, we've layered to make the actual boat because it's just a lot easier to cut than cut in a piece that would be 7.5 millimeters thick and then I've just used a co normal cocktail stick for the uh, mast and then you'll just need some fabric paints um, and all the usual tools so we're going to begin by making a template for the base of the boat or the hull. So cut a piece of paper or card to the size that you um, want the, the boat. And this piece is 60 millimetres by 18 millimetres wide. And that's about two and a quarter inches by three quarters of an inch. So just fold the piece in half and then just draw on there the basic shape of a boat, so point it at the front and then just bring it round in a sort of teardrop shape and then leave a bit of width at the bottom there and this is just a rough shape because we're going to um, whittle the wood once we've cut it so then cut that out And then you want to draw and copy that shape onto your piece of wood. So just lay the template on and draw around it. one side but do keep hold of it because we need to make three of these for the base and then I'm using this tool um, this is actually an old electrical um, device for punching holes in copper tape but I use it as a scribe but anything with a pointed sharp end I'm just going to trace that pencil line into the wood so just very lightly just sort of score the line into the wood and then when you've been all the way round Take your craft knife, I advise having a new blade in for this but do be really careful where your fingers are when you're doing this and then we just want to begin cutting it out. So just at first a nice light score, always aware of where your fingers are when you're doing this. And then once you've got that line there, you can just start going in a little bit deeper each time. Until you start to cut through the wood. And it can take a bit of time, but just be patient with it. basic boat shape and now I've just cut up some sandpaper here into sort of small manageable sheets and you just want to sand all the way around the edge make a nice neat edge a 
and again we'll be sanding once we've joined all the pieces together and sort of whittling it away a bit to make a better shape. So this is just a rough sand. And then you want three of these pieces which will then join together uh, to make the hull of the boat. Okay, so we now have our three pieces that make up the hull of the boat and we're going to stick these together but before we do that just lay one piece on top of another and just check that they are all a similar shape. So they don't have to be exact but if you've got any sort of little bits sticking out just take your craft knife and then just using one piece as a template just sort of cut round and just take off the extra wood. So it was only a tiny little bit there but it, it's just going to make it easier to shape once we've glued them all together. So I've just got some glue here on a piece of card I'm going to apply it with a cocktail stick up to this first piece Get it right into the corners because we want this to resemble one piece of wood once we're done and then stick that piece on and because we've got a, a flat bottom there we can just use that as the guide and just press them down like that and a little bit more glue there and then put the third piece on top and squeeze them together and then we want to hold them together as they dry so I've got these clamps here I'm just going to put one at each end and just sort of make sure they're staying straight and this might look a bit overkill but I just I don't want any gaps in between the pieces and then you could just leave that to dry if you don't have these clamps you can use clothes pegs um, as well and then I've got a piece here that's um, been glued together and is now dry and then I'm going to use um, quite a harsh sandpaper so this is 120 grade and again I've just got a small piece here which is easier to use and you just want to go around all of the edges and just smooth them off and again just creating that illusion that we've just got the one piece of wood here And the reason we're not using one piece of wood is because a piece of wood this thick you would need power tools um, to cut it with. And I only use a craft knife so this just makes it easier. So we're smoothing off the sides. And then we want the boat to sort of curl upwards at the front and at the back or at the stern and the bow so have a sheet of sandpaper on your worktop and just hold it um, against it and just sweep it along and I'm applying quite a bit of pressure here because we've got three pieces of wood to get through and you can see that's just beginning to round off but I want the roundness to go through all three pieces, well certainly the bottom two so just keep going and just keep sweeping it along and just checking um, until you've got a nice rounded end and I think that's enough there and you can see the shape I've got there And then what you can do is just take your smaller piece of sandpaper and we're going to try and round off these corners. 
And let's see, that's just sort of rounding the side into this back. of this bottom piece as well. And with to whittle wood you'd actually use a knife. We're sort of using sandpaper. It's not exactly the same thing but we're just basically sanding and shaping until we're happy with the shape that we have. And I'm pretty happy with the shape at the back there now. And then I also want that curve, same curve at the front, so I'm going to use the sandpaper on the desk again and I'm going to do what we did at the back and just keep going until I've got a nice curved um, front. Okay, so I think I'm quite happy with the shape of that now. And again, I'm just going to use this smaller piece of sandpaper to round up these edges. And see you're sort of creating a, a rounded point at the bottom. And try and keep it even as well, so whatever you do on one side, do it on the other. And then you can just keep smoothing until these sides are nice and flat. But these lines, um, the, the joins in the wood, actually create a nice feature and make the side of the boat look quite nice. And they're also quite useful when we come to paint if you want to do it um, in different colours. You've got a sort of guideline. Okay, so just keep going until you're really happy with the shape of the hull. And then we'll continue to the next step. Okay, so now we've got a uh, um, hull. I'm happy with the shape. We're going to score some lines um, along the deck and to do that I'm using a steel ruler and a flathead screwdriver and this is the smallest screwdriver in my set. So we're not going to measure these out, we're just going to do them by eye. So just begin by placing the ruler maybe about three millimetres or one eighth of an inch away from the side and I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on the ruler because I don't want it to tip up and then just score a line with the very sort of edge of the screwdriver just go along gently two or three times and then just move it along a little bit I'm actually going to go into the centre now so I'm just going to do three lines And then turn the boat around and do your final line about, again, three millimetres or an eighth of an inch from the other side. Like that, and it just makes a nice little um, feature on the deck, adds a bit of texture. And then we're going to make a hole now um, for the sail. So the sail should be. The one at the front should be slightly smaller than the back one. So we're going to do our pencil mark at about 25 millimetres or one inch. So just make a mark there. And if you're making the hull smaller than this, just always put it, I don't know, what's that? Um, a third of the way in, perhaps. Just so you've got more room at the back than you have at the front. And I'm going to use this um, mini drill and it's got a, I think that's a 1.5 millimeter, or 1 16th of an inch bit in there and that's just enough to take a cocktail stick which we're using to hold the sails. So just drill the hole and you don't want to go all the way through although it doesn't matter if you do and then 
I just sort of twist it like that just to make it slightly bigger so that we can fit the cocktail stick in there. And then our next um, job is to paint it. So I want mine blue at the bottom and white at the top. And because I'm using white, I'm going to paint the whole thing in white. And then I'll mask up the top section and I'll paint the bottom bit in blue. But I'll come back when I've done the white and I'll show you how to mask up um, the top area. To make it easier um, to paint the hull, I've just actually skewered the boat onto a cocktail stick. And this won't be the one that we'll use when we do the sail. But it just means that you don't have to get paint all over your fingers. And then when you've finished painting, you can just find an old piece of bath sponge and stick it in there to dry. Okay, so I've painted the boat um, all white and I've just sanded that using a soft grade um, sandpaper. Now I want to paint the bottom half in blue. Because I'm not that neat of a painter, I'm going to mask off um, the top section that I want to leave white, so the deck and this top layer of wood. And I've just cut um, some strips of masking tape here and then just apply that around the edge, just along that top line. And then just press that down, you can press it down with your nail just to make sure it's completely in place. And around that back edge, following that line. And you can work your way around. If you're a neat painter you don't have to um, mask it off. But it does give you a nice line if you do. Curve that round the front. Oops. There's a lot of dust in here, so I think my tape is losing its stick. One more piece. Okay, so once you've been all the way around, you can then squeeze the tape together and then you've, again, got a sort of tab to hold it with whilst you paint. Okay, so you want to wait until the paint has completely dried before you remove the masking tape. And then I've sanded um, the base again because I wanted the white to show through from beneath the blue just to give it a sort of worn and aged look. And then I went around um, the white panel at the top with a fine paintbrush just to touch in some blue areas that had sort of seeped beneath the masking tape. Okay, so put the boat to one side for now. And now we're going to make the rudder. And for that I'm using a piece of 1.5 millimetre or 1 16th of an inch thick, um, a besh, so the same same type of wood. And that will be um, 30 millimetres by 7 millimetres. And that's about an inch and a quarter by about a quarter of an inch. And if you're making a different sized boat, you probably want this to be about half the size of the length. And, and I don't know, 
seven or six mil high and then we're going to shape this and we're going to start by just cutting a corner off each of those ends I'm doing a, a bigger cutting off a bigger corner at the bottom there and then on this end I'm just going to draw a curve and then I'm just going to very carefully cut that out so just go over the line with the craft knife, knife just very softly and then each time you can just use a little bit more force until you're through the wood and then I'm just going to wrap a piece of sandpaper around the end of a paintbrush and just sand that curve curve will go towards the front of the boat and that will fit on there and then we want to make um, an actual base or stand and for that I've got a piece of the same wood again the 1.5 millimeter thick abesh 1 16th of an inch thick and that's 45 millimeters by 18 millimeters so that's about one and three quarter inches by three quarters of an inch and again um, just maybe cut that three quarters of the size of your boat if you're if you're doing a different size to what I'm making here and just slightly narrower than the width of your boat and with this we're going to bevel all edges just to make it look nicer so hold the piece at a 45 degree angle against a sheet of sandpaper and just sweep it towards you a few times and the wood will start to bevel and you want to do that on each edge hanging like that you can just sand those off separately and that's sort of made a, a base or a plinth and then we'll fix these together like that and then the boat on top and then finally for the mast just snip the pointed end from a cocktail stick and I find it's easy to do that if you sort of roll the knife across it like that and then we will be snipping this pointed end off but for now we can use it to hold while we're painting it so um, coordinate the colours again the rudder that will be fixed to the blue part of the boat I'll paint white and I'm going to paint the plinth blue but it's entirely up to you and the mast as well you can either do that white or your contrasting colour and then we'll come back and fit it all together Okay, so all the separate parts are now painted and I'm just going to put those two to one side and snip the end, um, the pointed end off of the cocktail stick and before you apply the glue just check that it fits nicely into the hole you've drilled if not you might just need to put the drill back in and sort of twist it around a bit to make the hole slightly bigger but that's quite a nice fit 
I'm just going to apply a small blob of glue into the hole. Sail in, or the mast rather. Okay, then to make our um, sails, I've just cut um, some rectangles here out of card, and to measure these, I've gone that side almost to the back of the boat, but not quite and also left a bit at the bottom um, so the sails don't go all the way down and you could just measure that but I'll give you the measurement um, of these pieces and it's about 49 millimeters so just under two inches by 30 millimeters so just under an inch and a quarter for the width and then for the front piece, same thing again, I've just left a bit at the bottom and a little bit at the front. And again, um, 49mm, so just under 2 inches by, uh, that's about 20mm, so 3 quarters of an inch. But obviously, just measure um, that area. Cut the rectangle, and then you just want to draw a line straight across. from corner to corner and then cut those out and then we'll actually be sticking the fabric onto these pieces of card to make the sails but you can also use them as a template to cut the fabric so I'm using these um, sort of coordinating blue fabrics and I think a striped piece looks really nice um, as a sail. So just um, draw or copy the template onto the back of your fabric and you want two of those you can then just turn that around and have a work out which way it goes like that. <laughs> And then take the piece of card and have it so that the front is facing forward and that's the piece that we'll cover first. So apply glue to the card. Just glue that piece of fabric on. If you do it so that this straight edge is in line, and then we'll wait for the glue to dry, and then anything that overhangs like that at the back we can just snip off. But wait until the glue's dry or your fabric will just crease. And then do the other one. Once the glue has completely dried on that side, turn the sails over and apply glue to the back. Bit much 
wash that. And then this bit can get a bit messy. Um, so have them place them on the desktop so they're a couple of millimetres apart. And then we want to create um, some sort of joiners so that we can attach these to the actual mast. So just snipped off a piece of cotton there and just lay it across the sails. Don't worry if anything's overhanging because we can snip that off afterwards. And you want one piece to be exactly at the bottom. And then another piece you want at the top. And it helps to have a couple of um, spare cocktail sticks around just to help you put these pieces into position. So try and get it stuck to the glue and then move it up to the top of the mast. And that piece actually hooks over the top of the mast. And this bit is a bit tricky. And then we'll just put a few pieces across the middle. So these pieces it doesn't matter too much where they are, just try and space them evenly. You do need one piece right at the top and right at the bottom. Like I say, don't worry if it hangs over because we'll trim that off afterwards. And then take your uh, remaining pieces of fabric and just apply glue directly to the fabric. And then glue that to the back of the sail. And again, make sure this straight edge is completely in line with the edge of the card because we can trim off the outer edge, but we can't trim off that inner edge. Glue that down. And then apply glue to the remaining piece. I just realised I'm probably working out of camera shot there, sorry about that. And again, stick that down, keeping that straight edge along the edge of the card. And this is the back um, side of the sails. So I'm just making sure they're not stuck to the desk there. So put them again to one side to completely dry and then we'll attach them to the boat. Okay, so once the glue has dried, just trim off um, any overlapping fabric or cotton. And then you know which is the back because you can feel the cotton um, beneath the fabric. So turn it so the front is facing you and just apply a tiny uh, dot of glue onto each of the cotton pieces. No need to put any on the top piece but do just put a dab of glue on top of the mast and then this is the side of the ship that I want showing, so put the sails behind the mast like that and attach that top piece of cotton right over the top of the mast and then press the cotton 
against the back of the mast. And that's how it looks at the back there. Just press the cotton on until the glue is dried. And again, just leave that until it's completely dry. Okay, so to complete the boat, we're going to attach the rudder um, and then the plinth. And this curved part of the rudder goes at, towards the front end of the boat. So begin by applying glue along that long top edge. And we're not going to measure for this, we're just going to do it by eye, but this should go in the centre um, of the boat and so that the pointed is more towards the front. All the glue has time to set, just check you're in the middle and I'm way off there. Use a spare cocktail stick to get rid of that line of glue. Okay, and just lay that down whilst the glue dries and then we're just going to make a pencil mark in the centre um, of the plinth, so in the centre of the, the shorter side so that was 18, so just put a faint pencil line in the centre there and then you should wait really for this to dry completely but just for the sake of the video I'm going to just do it now but just be very, very careful. And just apply glue along that short edge. And then using your pencil line as a guide, just attach to the plinth so that you're more or less central as well um, from end to end. And just look from both ends as well, just to make sure you're happy with the position. And make sure that the base of the boat is um, sort of level with the plinth. And we're attaching quite narrow edges here, so you have to be really careful. I'm still not happy with the position of that. All the glue's dried, you've got time to keep moving it around to make sure you're happy. And then just leave that to dry. And there's our completed boat. Now I've used um, traditional sort of nautical colours here, blues and whites, but you could do this in any um, colour, maybe sort of shabby chic pale pastels, or maybe use a nice bright red or something. As always, if you have a go, do get in touch, send me your photos, let me see what you did with this project. And do subscribe to the channel, lots more videos um, coming up. And again, if there's anything you want to see a tutorial for, um, let me know and I'll see what I can do. I've got a couple coming up that have been requested um, by subscribers, so I'm looking forward to those. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.